All right, we're having an, we're going to have a little bit of a shindig. It's not going to be much, honestly. We have uh, no beverages of any kind, so it's certainly not a cocktail party. It's mostly a dead bug party. We've got a lot of dead bugs, and we're going to eat them. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Stranded Alien Dawn, our little colony here, just getting its feet underneath them, trying to get the basics established. Good news, team. We figured out what mushrooms are. So I sent the gang to go check out these mushrooms over here, and apparently these are glitter caps, all right? They're quite poisonous. Oh good, I'm glad we didn't start eating those, but they're going to lose their toxicity when they mature and start glowing. They're a decent substitute for vegetables, if gathered and cooked, when fully matured, but poisonous if consumed raw. Okay, so a little bit of a mixed bag there, you know, swings and roundabouts as they say. Deadly poison, just wait long enough, and they're not. Are we... does this team up here look smart enough? to know when they're not poisonous because I'm I'm going to go with no. What I wanted to start doing initially today is do a little bit more specialization with the colonists because right now I've got everybody doing everything and that means everything is going kind of slowly. So we're really struggling on research. We're trying to do the spaceship deconstruction thing so we can deconstruct the larger chunks of spaceship which is you know crash landed around us moving super slow because everybody's scattered doing everything at all so who are let me go down to my managing thing here let me check out our activities what do we do and who's good at it so research what have we got all right han is two on intellect nova won't do it at all Rock is three and Xander's one. So obviously Rock is my best researcher. Xander, why don't you not bother doing research? And who is my best again? That's Rocka. Rocka, what could you not do? So you focus a little bit more on researching. How about you did not, uh, don't do any harvesting, cutting, planting, or scavenging, or mining, okay? You're gonna be my stay at home guy, all right? You can do some cooking. You don't complete... Actually, you're our best cook, frankly. You can do some crafting. It's probably going to divide your time between that and research. Anyway, long story short, Raka, you can stay at home. You can stay around the campsite and just do some really, really basic stuff like figuring out how to deconstruct spaceships and eventually make weapons and clothing and all sorts of stuff. You, I see, are making... Did you make my bandages or did you make my cloth? Because we got both of those. All right, so you're still working on the cloth. You've got some ingredients... You're putting them up there. You're making cloth from scrap cloth. And then after you're done with that, you're going to make some bandages out of that cloth. All right, you're moving along in production, 14% and 28%. Okay, it's a little slow, but you're getting the job done. Right, that's... Okay, now what? All right, Nova, I see you're sleeping on the ground there. You, you do have a free bed, you know that, right? Because Xander sleeps during the daytime. This is Xander's bed. How about, all right, you know what, I, for you guys, for you kids, you crazy gang here, crash landed, I will build you another little hut, just so you can all have a nice bed that is all your own, and you won't be whining at me largely. So let's build another one. Could I get that to live, say, like it to, you know what, just throw it over here for right now. I'm probably going to end up deconstructing most of this when we figure out how to build real buildings, but we're a little ways off from that. And then how about there is a, where is the uh, the regular sleeping bag area there? Sleeping spot. Oh yeah, there we go. The sleeping bag, the bedroll. We have the fabric to do that. So I'm going to put this over here. And actually, while I'm here, can I move this? Yeah, let's move this over here. A little bit more relaxed. Wait, did that just put... Xander and Nova together because they hate each other. Well, Xander hates Nova, even though they're cousins. Yeah, Xander, you're so not... Yeah, you hate Nova. Well, guess what? You're sharing a room. Now, are those murder ducks still around? Because I had somebody queued up to go and check them out. There's the caterpillars. Yeah, they're right there. There's the caterpillars. We figured those out. Oh, hang on. That guy's dead. So that's a glutch. It's this really, really cool giant caterpillar monstrosity. Um... Just pause it for a sec. This guy's dead. Hmm. So what we learned about the Clutch is that they're totally passive and placid, but they will explode in poisonous toxic gas if you go and poke them with a stick. That's fine, because Han's got a laser pistol. He can totally hunt these guys, but... 
apparently we don't need to. So two things here. I'd like to take you back and butcher you. I'm also very concerned about how you died. Was it the murder ducks? Because we are queued up to observe them. But yeah, we've observed half of them. We've observed half of a murder duck right now, 49%. And it seems relatively peaceful, but I don't trust that at all. Oh, and what's this? It's a nest. Oh, we could cut that. I don't want to do that. What I do want to do is get the giant bug and eat it. So it's got a shelf life of 98 out of 100, so it's still pretty fresh right now. Shelf life, I like that. Uh, go ahead and butcher this. I don't know how we do that. We don't seem to have any sort of like butcher block or anything along those lines that we can build right now. Maybe it's something in research that I haven't figured out yet, but I want to see what we do with that information. All right, everyone's up and about for the morning. Xander, you should... Ah, yeah, Xander's off to bed. Okay, I was just going to say, Xander, you're a night owl, so you are going to bed. A cause for celebration. We put together a camp as quick as we could considering the circumstances. Yeah, I'm running the channel. That's the circumstances. We're not sleeping in the dirt. No, I did finally give you a bed. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate at seven o'clock tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a party. Oh, and like any traditional colony builder, these guys are whinging about eating without a table. How often have I seen that before, RimWorld? I'm looking hard in your direction. Eating without a table, they just got a negative mood debuff from that. Uh, slow down a sec there. Can I actually check that out, please? What's your happy and sad? Yep, there we go. Burnout, inf insufficient food variety. Good news, you're about to go eat a bug. Few fun things to do. Is eating a bug fun? Because we're about to eat a bug. You ate on foot. Yeah, eating without a table. Oh, God, it's back. What are you happy about? You're determined because you're a survivor. You survived the crash. You're well-fed. Good. And you were pleased by Nova. Well, that sounds a little late night, doesn't it? You were pleased by Nova. I didn't realize it was that kind of game. Now, what are you off to go do? I think you're going to go observe the murder ducks. Yeah, you're going to go check out a murder duck. Tell me this thing isn't going to kill us. It looks like it's going to kill us. So you're going to probably hang out from a distance. You're not being super stealthy. I'm going to say that, Captain Han. Uh, you're not. It can totally see you, but you're just going to look at it. You're just going to look at it. Now you, where are you at? 57% observed. 58, okay. Ah, uh, you don't really need to strain to see it, man. It's right in front of your face. What's everyone else doing? Nova, you are, you're hauling. Oh, are you, did you butcher the thing? Oh, I think you butchered the thing. Yeah, the bug's gone. Oh, so we can butcher it on the fly. Good. All right, so we can just go up and chop it up. Well, in that case, I should figure out how we cook things. So we've got the campfire over here. Quick recipes, refuel, extinguish... And then the regular stuff. Well, what's in quick recipe? Emergency ration or meat soup. Okay, well, I assume that would include bug meat, right? Why don't you... I don't know how much... We need 10 meat for this. Oh, hang on. We've done a thing. I'll come back to that in a sec. There's a lot going on here in Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, so we got... We need 10 meat. And I assume the insect meat will do that. Let me go back and look at that again. Um, you need... Raw meat butchered from animals. Well, we've done that. Do I have a thing up here? Here we go. Raw food. I've got 34 raw insect meat. Neat. So let's do uh, a thing here. So I could make three of these right now. Just make three. Is any Are any of those other caterpillars dead? I am very concerned about what killed them. It's not so much that they're dead. It's that something killed them. Yeah, you're dead. Butcher that. You are also dead. What killed the giant caterpillars? Because they are exploding toxic caterpillars and something took them out. That's very worrying. Talk to me about the Gujo here. Flightless bird reminds me of an animal from my home planet. Yeah, murder ducks. Unlike the calm bird that I know of, this one is quite feisty and has a taste for meat. I knew it. I knew it. A fast runner, don't envy its prey. I think the murder ducks took out the caterpillars. That's what happened there. Uh, nor its hunter trying to catch up with it. Strong bond with its mate. Okay. Yeah, they, they definitely must have murdered the caterpillars. I knew those guys were sketchy. Oh, and Captain Han here is already into cooking. Good. Well, we know we're going to get some meat. So why don't we try, like, I don't know, see if we can get like 10. 
what do we get, like 34 from the first one. So yeah, we'll get like almost 100 meat somewhere around there. See if you can get 10 meals, meat soups done. We need like somewhere to store this. I need construction. I need to make, be making buildings. Now that is, go to my research desk here. That is going to be construction basics. Okay, rooms. Make a floor, foundation, walls, roof. Uh, we've made meat soup. That's very, very cool. Need doors, windows, etc., 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 etc. Do I just want to go right for this right now? The thing is, I'm I'm into spaceship deconstruction. I don't want to abandon that. This is going to be a lot of wood, though. We can get wood. We can chop trees down. Can I take this off? Can I? Yeah. All right. We're going to construction basics. I hate doing that. It's silly. It's a waste of our time to start researching something and then jump ship. But we'll come back to it. We will definitely get those deconstructed. I think we're going to be okay on what we've just got. Have we? Yeah, we've scavenged everything out of this. Our original landing pod. And I bet when I do learn spaceship deconstruction, we can get rid of it. We can just deconstruct that whole thing. But there's all these huge, large things over here. Can we? We can scavenge this without deconstructing it. That's probably a good thing. Oh, what are those? Oh, what are these? These are wicked cool. All right, let's have everybody doing everything. Pointy red plant. Go check that out. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow it down. This guy. Check him out. There's flying animals, which is very concerning. Oh, you. You look terrifying and you're probably going to eat our face. But can we observe? We could observe you. We could observe you. Focus, Dave. Focus, focus, focus. It's colony builder. Let's do fundamentals. Let's get a house of some sort and then proceed from there. Now, Rock is off cooking and he is our best cook, but I kind of need you on the research game, champ. Try not to take too long cooking the bugs up if you could. You're going to go check out my red flowers. That's cool. How do I know when these poisonous plants are not poisonous? So growth 80%. I bet, I guess at 100%, we can just harvest them. And I don't have my harvest thing. Harvesting, not ready. So I guess at 100%, they're not toxic, and we can eat them. But that better darn well be at 100%. What can I do while we're kind of doing everything in the meantime that would be valuable? Han's checking something out. Nova, oh, you're transporting. Okay, you got the insect meat in your hands. Good. Uh, Rock is cooking. Xander is scavenging. Okay, where are you scavenging this thing? Yeah, cool. Good job, man. I'm going to stop production on the cloth and bandage idea. Well, at least the cloth. We'll make some bandages. And you are, yeah, you're, you're doing that right now. I don't think we need more cloth. I think we're okay on cloth for right now. I could use some more wood and some more sticks. We're not so good at the stick thing. Can I prioritize this? Oh, I haven't even added a bill. That's why. That's weird, because last time, last episode, somebody just went over there automatically and started making sticks. So I thought it was an automatic thing, but no, no, it's a bill. How about, let's do limit reached. Hang on, limit reached. Well, do I have to readjust your limit then? I need to readjust your limit. How do I do that? Now, it's not resource amounts. That just turns off the numbers here. Um, I can't, I can make you do this. Okay, just do it then. Make like five bunches of sticks. It was, I was overly complicating it. Just make a bunch of sticks when you can, please. Uh, Captain Han's going to have a meltdown here. Crushingly unhappy. Crushingly unhappy. I'm so sorry, Captain Han. We've crash landed on an alien planet. We're all struggling to survive. You're the only one who's armed, by the way. That does not bode well for the meltdown. I'm sorry you're crushingly unhappy. If you, Where are you, by the way? Uh, you're over here being crushingly unhappy. Are you going to start crying like Raka did? It's 7 o'clock. Are we... Yeah, there we go. Okay, it just ticked over. We're going to have a bit of a party. Is that going to cheer you up, Han? I hope so. You're decently fed. All right, we're having... An... We're going to have a little bit of a shindig. It's not going to be much, honestly. We have uh, no beverages of any kind, so it's certainly not a cocktail party. It's mostly a dead bug party. We've got a lot of dead bugs, and we're going to eat them. There we go. We're having a little party. Are you having a party, Xander? You, you cool? Had a pleasant walk. It's night. You ate a quick meal. Nothing about the party, though, huh? All right. Well, the party sucks. Well, Han is joining in the fun. He's got a little party icon here. Is that making you happier? Not yet. Not yet. Although you did have a meal 
and you liked it. You were sad about eating it without a table, but hey, welcome to Colony Builders. All right, so you're just kind of chilling out. Nova, where are you that you're not joining in the fun here? Are you getting more stuff? You must have been out scavenging. Okay, well, come and enjoy the really, really terrible party before it's over. Oh, now Han's been delighted by Rocco. Wow, it does get late night around here. And you had a celebration. Good, that's cheered you up a lot. Plus 20 on that. Right, well, the guy with the laser pistol should be happy at all times. I don't want that person being sad. Wait, what is this? Is that like corn? Looks like corn. Let's observe that. That might be food. Why can't you all be more like Xander? Xander is 98% happy. Even with a gloomy personality. He's 97% happy. Okay, it's dropping a little bit. 96. All right, cheer up. Cheer up, Sander. But look, he's so happy about things. He survived the crash. He went to a party. He's a night owl, and it's nighttime, and he's up and about. And and you were, you were pleased by Han. We're all pleased by Han. He's a delightful chap. All right, the glitter caps, the poisonous mushrooms that might not be poisonous at 100%, are at 100%. I'm going to tentatively harvest some of these. Actually, I can do that in bulk. Hang on. Uh, collecting, mining, harvesting. All right, why don't you harvest whatever there is to harvest there? Just harvest all of that. Uh, yeah, harvest that. 32 glitter caps, harvest that, please. I think I did that rather inefficiently, but hey, welcome to the channel. And where are we at? Okay, it's morning. Everyone's getting up. They're going off to do some things. People are going to have a quick snack. I can only imagine I've got to get my food undercover sooner rather than later. Like, is that my my meat there, my insect meat? Okay, it's still at 93%. Wait, it's refrigerated? Really? What What is the... Oh, God, it's in Celsius. Um, what is 8? Is that, is that cool? Is that warm? I do Fahrenheit. We've had this discussion before. I'm not so good with that. To me, 8 is brutally, brutally cold, but it's probably really nice if you're metric. All right, Xander's off to bed because it's daytime. So you sleep during the day, and that's going to make you happier. And you're doing some cooking. Nova, you're scavenging? Yep, Nova is scavenging, and Han is harvesting. All right. I'm still kind of at the everybody's doing everything kind of thing. Raka, what I really need you to do is research. How many other, how many other cooks do I have? I'd like to have him kind of hyper-focused. On research. I know you're my best cook. This is not what I wanted to look at. I know you're my best cook, but you're not my only cook. Yeah, I've got three other people who can do some cooking. Why don't you not do cooking, Raka? I know you finish off what you're doing there. You're making some soup out of the bugs. Finish off what you're doing, and then that should really leave you basically doing almost nothing but uh, researching. All right, so yeah, you're going to do some crafting if we need to, but all we're doing is finishing off those bandages. You can do some hauling, that's okay, and construction and handling. Uh, what is handling, by the way? What are, what are we doing with that? Lighting up torches, supplying fuel. Oh, okay, so basic tasks. I see handle, and I thought that was an animal thing, but basic tasks. All right, well, we, uh, we got mushrooms. Quite a few of them. Actually, a hundred glitter caps, and I don't think you're done with that either. Can we make... Is there anything new we can make out of that, first of all? Veggie soup. All right, well, people were whining about food variety. So why don't we make, say, I don't know. You know what? Uh, do until you have 10. Now, is there a pause on that? So here's what here's what I'm thinking. They're going to make 10. Somebody's going to clung and eat one. And the cook is going to immediately rush off and make the 10th one. I'd like to see a pause on that pause when satisfied. So, you know, let it go down to, say, five, and then cook up to ten. We'll kind of feel that one out as it goes. You know what? I'm taking off this bill, too. The bandages. We'll, we'll live. We have we walked in with some med kits. We've made a couple of bandages, but Raka, I really need you. There you go. This is so much more important, Raka. Check out what I absolutely believe is alien corn. Now you're soaking wet. I can't do anything about that, man. It's raining. All right. Insufficient storage space I can deal with. Thunderstorm. Well, obviously, there's going to be lightning strikes. That goes without saying. We've made veggie soup. Yeah. Build lightning rods. Walking in the rain is unpleasant, but sleeping soaking wet is horrible. Right. I think they're they're technically undercover. I mean, it's not going to protect you from the rain. There's, there's a whole wall that's missing here, but 
I think we're going to cope with that. Oh, rain's over anyway. All right, uh, let me deal with the easy one, storage space. That I can absolutely take care of for you. So let's do that, that, and you know what? Get a couple more because we're deconstructing that spaceship or at least scavenging from it. So let's get some more of these. Uh, I actually want to go back and look at that again. Show me storage again. What does a wardrobe do? Storage for clothing, items, and weapons. Oh, you are. You are having a day here, Zonder. Did I glitch you out because I put the storage on top of where you were walking? I totally did. Uh, so go back to the storage. Wardrobes is clothing and items and weapons. Storage space for clothing, items, and weapons. Storage chest. Resource it. Resources cannot fit large construction resources. So I bet we can't put logs, wood, or something like that in. And then shelves. Well, none of this matters until we get some sort of permanent building undergoing. Well, next morning, and Raka is out checking out the giant red flowers here, which is good. I think when he's done with this, Captain Han is looking at the uh, corn over here. It's got to be alien corn. I mean, look at the thing. It's clearly alien corn. You're, you're already actually almost halfway or over halfway done with that. When they're done checking all this stuff out, I don't think I'm going to queue up any more observations. I want to get Raka hyper-focused on learning permanent structures. In fact, Raka, I want to look at your stuff again. I might even shave you off of like, basically everything. Uh, you know what? Don't do crafting. Don't do constructing. Just focus on what you got here, which is just research. Only do research. Go look at things and then get on the research desk, man. I'll flesh you out later. When we've got some basic stuff under control, I'll add some more things to you. But right now, the other three can deal with everything else. And Nova, I see you've got nothing to do and you don't research. You will not do research. So why don't you, um, I don't know, just chop some trees down. There you go. You're right into it. Stuck right into it. There you go. Chop some trees down. Permanent structures. We're probably going to need some extra wood anyway. So go ahead and just cut that down. Now, this is growing. Hmm. So I'm not getting as much wood as I potentially could. I'm going to miss out on 30 wood, or rather five wood here because it's um, not 100% grown. It's only 82% grown. That's fine. I can live with that. A little while later into the day and Rock has figured out what the big red plant is. It's silicone leaf. So this is actually going to make silicone. Raw silicone used in the production of some electronic components and devices. So we could farm it. If we have farming zero, it looks like we've got a 40% chance of failing, and that will obviously decrease until all of a sudden at farming five, we have no failure rate. All right, right on. Now, can I automatically? I can. So everything that I discover, I can then plant as a farm. Neat. Well, Captain Han, how are you doing on what you're looking at here? 87%. Okay, cool. Well, we'll be done with that soon enough. Now, Raka, you are... Yeah, you're going right to the research desk. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I need. We need to get the research done. It's great that we're looking at things. That is actually really valuable. Especially when we can grow silicone. That's got to be handy. Not now. I don't think we're doing anything with electronics anytime in the near future, but that's got to be valuable for later. Interesting. I'd sent the other two out to just keep scavenging some of the local debris... And we found CPU cores, advanced processor used in the production of advanced devices and weapons. Again, I don't think any of this is going to be valuable right now, but this is grain cob. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. it just looked like space corn. Of course, it's going to be space corn. Small, hard, dry seeds used for cooking or in the production of medicines, oil, or other items. And I will get grain out of it. So it's not really corn as much as it's more like a wheat. Okay, neat. And I assume that I can now start planting that. Uh, yes, grain cob. It's space corn. You know what? I'm just putting it up. I just want to see how farming works. So it grows quickly, but it's soil sensitive. Well, do I know what the soil is here? Do I have, a, do I have some sort of overlay telling me what the soil quality is like? Fertile, infertile. I know. You know what? I'm just going to mess around with farming because I can... So I want to put that right there, uh, right, right there. Okay, is that what I need to do? I don't know. I just want to kind of see how this all fleshes out. This is a hot mess of a colony right now, but eventually it's going to look good. By the way, while we're here, I don't really need any of this, and this will produce hay that I will need for other things. I bet you roofs. I bet when we get permanent structures done, there's going to be some hay roofs coming along, and you're stuck right into that. 
yeah, Hans, Hans loving the sickle and chopping stuff down. You are right into planting. Are you good at that, by the way? Who is good at that sort of thing? Activities. Uh, cutting, planting. There we go. Uh, Hans, pretty good. And Xander is pretty good. Nova, you're terrible at it, but you will do it. And I assume you'll get better as you go along. Oh, neat. We scavenged a synthetic vest. Durable armor. Synthetic textiles. Neat. Uh, where is it? Have we brought it home yet? Uh, Xander, looks like you're scavenging stuff. Looks like you're bringing that home now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Bugs. Bugs. Um, Captain Han, we're going to need some red hot laser pistol action pretty soon. Uh, aggressive animals. Yep, there's a bunch of them. You ain't wrong. They are. Uh, are they coming at us? No, no, they're just kind of hanging out over here right now. What are you eating? Can I zoom in a little tiny bit more, please? I want to see what you're doing. Oh, you're kind of eating a tree. Yeah, you just took a tree down. Well, that's okay. Can we have the wood? No surprise. We can't go out and observe a dangerous insect. It's too dangerous to observe. But we could hunt it, or I could send Han out and draft him and just sort of engage with them. Here's the thing. Are they are they anywhere near us? You guys are over here, right? And we're over here. Yeah, you're actually pretty darn close to us, aren't you? Um, Han, how would you like to wear some armor? So what if you took off your jacket and put on the synthetic vest instead? I have a feeling I'm going to need more bandages than I thought I did. So you get into that, kid. And then we're maybe going to go off and try and kill those insects. Because I think you're walking right next door to them. All right, Han. Han, did you put your thing on? Yeah, you put your thing on. This is probably going to be the death of Captain Han. However, I'm going to draft you. And then you are going to go over here. No, over Han. Han. No, that's the insect. Han, come over here. And then we're going to get all shooty-shooty. Oh, good. I can see the range of his gun, or at least that's what I assume that radius is. That's his limit on how far he can shoot. Okay, uh, go. Go shoot this thing. Go. Yeah, go attack that, please. Maybe you can't see it yet. Go. About to rot away. What's about to rot away? Uh, the following resources are about to rot away. That looks like our vegetable soup. Okay, shelves under a roof, chests, fridges, and cool rooms. We'll kind of vaguely work on that concept, but right now we've got bugs. So, if you go right here. Okay, now you got some bugs that you can take care of. Attack that, please. Yep, too dark. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, okay, we got one. We got one. There's like 500 of them, but we got one of them. And you're vomiting. Are you sad about that? I thought you were a master hunter. It's kind of why I hired you. Oh, you're bleeding. Oh, dear. Um, you're in pain. Yeah, what? Oh, you have a stomach ache. You have a rumbly tummy, Han. There are giant murder bugs, but you have a bit of a tummy. Okay. Um, this you probably had rotten food. Yeah, you, we have rotten food. Rotten food exists, Han. You're just going to have to learn to cope with it. So, um, can you go, can you go anywhere? No, you're just stuck vomiting. Okay, could you, could you hustle that up, man? Like, come on, today, dude, just let it all out. Are you done? You're not done yet. Okay, now you're done. Uh, back to the murder bugs. So, murder bug? Maybe we should wait until tomorrow, when it's not, uh, quite so dark. And attack? You're probably gonna take a knock. Oh, you're going in for the melee. Okay, all right, because you're, you're too close. You got a knife, though, that's cool. I don't know where you got the knife from, and I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, we're just going to stabby stab. Stabby stab? Stab? Okay, good. Stabbing's good. Oh, Han's just going nuts. He stabbed a few, and then he whipped out his laser pistol and blew another one away. Uh, we've got 11 left. Han, 11. There's a lot of murder bugs out here. 11 of them, to be precise. Uh, animal attack. Where? Where? Oh, way over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, shooty shoot. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, too hostile. No, I don't want to observe it. No, no, no. Han, come here. Han, uh, bleeding. Yep, Han's bleeding. Uh, could you murder the murder bug, please? Yep, yeah, wow. One shot, one kill. That's why I brought you on board, Han. Uh, here's the thing, though. Why don't you... Why don't you undraft? Why don't you go home? We'll pick... Well, uh, actually, don't go home. Sorry, there's more. There's more. Uh, bad move on my part. Uh, these things are gonna happen, Han. Uh, murder the murder bug, please. Yep, one shot, one kill on Han. 
Oh, Han is a wrecking machine. Captain Han and the laser pistol is how this colony stays alive. What are we down to? Eight? Go home, man. Just go home. Get, get patched up a little bit. We've got some bandages. You're not super injured. But we're going to pick this up again in the morning when you can actually see what you're doing. You'll probably be even better. Oh, hang on, Han. Han, they're following you. They're following you, man. You're going to have to... Uh... Okay, so I assume the red squares are areas I can't hit. Because, like, the spaceship's in the way and the trees are in the way. Uh, that's fine. You're awaiting treatment. No, you're going to be doing some more murders because they're following you home. I just saw them on the hill here. Yeah, there they are. They're coming. Oh, you're already in. You're already in, yeah. Captain Han is a murder machine right now. Except for that one, which you completely sucked at. So stabby stab. Come on, stabby stab, man. Stabby stab. And then more stabby stab. Try not to die. I really can't afford to lose any colonists right now. And you're the only one who has, like, any combat experience. Um, Xander, what's your problem? Are you vomiting also? Yeah, you have a stomach ache. All right, we're eating rotten food. Uh, Rock is asleep. Nova's asleep. Um, Han, how are you doing? You're actually, your health is pretty good. You're bleeding four points per hour. I think you got this, man. There's only six more of them. Five now. Uh, no, keep keep probably with the stabbing, though. Maybe just keep up the stabbing thing. Go go with more stabbing rather than less. Con, Han, Captain Han, Khan, whatever your name is. If you have oh, if you have the option of stabbing or not stabbing, go with stabbing. Xander, what's your deal? Oh, you've got murder bugs. Uh, lead them over to Captain Han and the laser pistol. So I'm going to draft you. You're going to come over here. And you're going to try and kind of kite them over to fabulous Captain Han and his amazing laser pistol. Why don't you move over here so you can actually see what you're going to hit. Uh, Xander, come on over, Chief. Yep, and the murder bugs are going to follow you. I assume you can just punch them with melee attacks. That, that seems sensible. Uh, it's daylight now. That should do better for you. So, Xander, can you just punch them? Is that a thing you can do? Yeah, you can punch them. It's not super effective, but you can punch them. Han's got your back, though. Okay, we have finally dealt with all the murder bugs. Let me see. We've got two injuries. Food is going to rot. That's fine. Han reached combat level two, and I could give early access feedback. That's delightful. We, we won't do that right now. Uh, two survivors undraft you. You both need medical treatment. And then the overgrown insects, well, obviously we're going to eat them. Now, who was my doctor? Han's going to have a meltdown. Yeah, you're, you've are you killed a lot of things today, Han. Just take a break, chill. Um, who is my best doctor these days? Uh, that is doctor, 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 healing. There we go. Uh, so that would be Nova. Okay, great, good. So not Han or Xander. Nova, I know you're asleep, but can I have... Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, no, not now, thank you. So, Nova, can I have you heal? Yeah, heal Xander. Actually, Han's taken more of a beating. You know what? You can do both. It's all right. We got bandages. We can do things. Oh, I like you put a little hustle in your step when you're healing. That's nice. Yeah, you're like, oh, I got to deal with this. This guy's, like, sort of vaguely bleeding. So you're going to heal up Xander, and then I'll have you go do exactly the same thing to Han there. Han's just crashing out now. I like your new jacket, man. That looks wicked diesel. Uh, Nova, are you done? No, not quite. So how you looking, Xander? Okay, yeah, your bites have been treated. That's treated. You still have the stomach ache. Not much I can do with that right now. I will work on that in a second, Xander. Trust me. I just want to see, make sure you guys all get treated up here. Uh, you're treating that, and you got a couple more to do, and then I'll send you over to Han. Han, how are you doing? You're bleeding. Like, a lot. Uh, I think this is broadly going... Wait, bitten off. have you lost a bit of your right leg? Because that would be bad. All right, Nova's done with that, so I'm going to send her over to... Oh, it's already in your queue. Okay, great. You're already on that, and you're going to feed him, too, at some point. I mean, when he wakes up, obviously. So you are just hopped right on that. You saw, oh my god, Han came back after murdering all the murder bugs with his laser pistol and his pointy knife, and he's totally bleeding, and he's lost a bit of his leg, and you're like, I am going to go over there and heal Han, because we need Captain Han and the laser pistol. All right, get rid of all of this nonsense. Got all of that, got all of that. Uh, Han, just try and relax, man. Yeah, we're, we're losing all this food. All this food is going away. So let's see if we can get some food under shelter. I could do it out of sticks now. Just for variety, we're going to do this out of sticks. So, really, I've, I've got to make this colony look halfway decent. Uh, Raka, get on the construction materials, man, because I really need 
this place to look better than it is right now. So yeah, we, we've lost some some uh, food there, but Nova got better at healing. All the food's going to rot away. Uh, so what I want is a storage zone. But here's the way this is all going to play out, is I want this storage zone to, do, well, do that, and then do more of that. So it's not enough stockpile. That. No, it's not obstructed, I assure you. Do you think that's obstructed? Really, game? Okay, I, I would like to. I would like to disagree with you strongly on that. Okay, you're telling me that that's not obstructed. No, that is obstructed. Okay, never mind. It's all fine. Um, here's how this is all going to play out. So we're not going to store food here anymore. So how do I, I know? There's a way to do that. There we go. Restrictions. So no raw food, no meals. Is anything else food related? Like maybe raw plants or anything like that no raw food no cooked meals okay we're gonna do that and then this one i only want raw food and cooked meals nothing else in there please oh somebody damaged the chopping block really did you already fix it i think you already went over there and fixed it yeah it's 100 out of 100 okay so you just raced over and fixed that i wonder what that's under in terms of their skills all right so you're building this you have built this You'll probably move everything over here eventually, but hopefully this will be technically under a roof, and therefore it might decompose a little more slowly. That being said, can we get... Is there anything over here we could be harvesting? Yeah. All sorts of harvesty things over here. Okay, so I got everything set up to be harvested at the glitter caps. That will be something. Uh, why do you have a plus? Do you level up? Is that... Why do you have a plus up there? Are you better? At things? How, how does this work? I don't know how this works, so I... Is it skills? Can I can I do anything at all with you? How do I... You love Ratatouille and punching. <laughs> Nova, you are a trip. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you have 157 health? What's going on here? What, well, you're bleeding. Oh, you got struck by lightning. Oh, that's bad. Um, where are you? Are you... Oh, Wow. You got knocked the heck out. You got knocked out. Thankfully, Captain Han is in to rescue you. Sadly, you are our best doctor. Who else is uh, has any sort of doctory skills, please? Uh, no, no, yeah, who who can do doctory? Because Nova's Nova got struck by lightning. Um, healing. Who's who can do anything? Xander can, and he's interested in it too, which is odd because he hates Nova, even though she's her cousin. She's his cousin. So could you please go? Um, no? No, no, no. Sandra, did I not assign you to that? I might not have assigned you to that. No, you're you're into healing. Xander, let's try that again. Xander, I would like you to... Do you not need healing? You're not bleeding. Okay, so maybe you just sort of rest. You don't have any actual active wounds at the moment that need tending. Okay, well, I'll just kind of feel it out as it goes along. Yeah, I know you're sad, Han. You you got bitten by a bunch of bugs. Ah, more importantly, you're moving the food. So hopefully that will not decompose quite as quickly. How are we doing on the old research frontier? You are almost done. Almost done. In fact, I'm just going to wait until that is 100%, please. There it is. Construction basics. And we've just... Buildings has just popped right up here. Flooring, walling, roofing... All of this. Rooms. A whole room right here. Stairs. Neat. We've got multiple levels. Show me a basic floor uh, out of, oh, I don't know. What do you feel you want to do? Soil? Scrap? I do have quite a bit of scrap metal, but I've also got a fair bit of wood, too. Strong support. All right. So the metal is terrible at insulation and weak support. The wood is medium insulation and strong support. And then we could get up into stone and metal later on. It looks like stone or wood is the best one to do. Okay, so now I can actually start making real buildings. That just became far more interesting to me than if Nova gets struck by lightning. So I think that is an excellent place to call it on Stranded Alien Dawn for today. And then next time, we're going to have to rip this colony apart and put it all back together now that I can make actual real buildings out of things. So hopefully when we're done next time, it ain't just a few shacks and some food rotting on the floor. We can actually put something together here in Stranded Alien Dawn. We'll pick it up again next time. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of this. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. 
And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. I totally understand that. If I were visiting a restaurant and it was on fire, I, I probably wouldn't go there again. Not, not quickly, anyway. Not until I saw some more reviews on the place, and those reviews specifically said, place burns down much less than it used to. Oh, you have a migraine or a rattlesnake bite. Well, this is wicked simple, Linda. Have you been bitten by a snake? If the answer is no, then it's a migraine. And, and my accountant's on fire. My accountant's on fire uh, because water plus electricity is bad. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I, don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.